Welcome to my video about what you need for your baby if she's starting or he's starting swim class. If you've been following along on my Facebook page, you know that my kids just started their latest session of swim class this week. Um, my son, who's three years old, he um, was back for a new session and my daughter, Haley, who's four months old, was trying swim for the first time. So, here's a list of things that you're going to need. First one is obvious. You need a swimsuit. Now for boys, it's pretty easy. You can just get an ordinary pair of swim trunks. Tyler likes Captain America. Um, no rash guard, no shirt. You're going to be handling them a lot. You're going to be lifting them up and down and flipping them from top to bottom and stuff. So you want to be able to handle them. Um, in that same vein, for girls, you're going to want a one-piece. Um, we got this one online on Amazon. It's um, from a company called Baby Bum. It's very cute. And it's a one-piece swimsuit. And again, it's because you're going to be handling your baby a lot. So you're going to want something that's not going to be f messing around or you're f fussing with. Um, so one-piece works great. Next thing you're going to need is a swim pamper. This, is, this one is a Huggies diaper, little swimmers. Um, these are important, but you need to know something before you use them. These are meant to capture poop. They are not meant to absorb pee. The whole reason for having these is because they don't expand and get soaked up with all the water and you have that giant, you know, puffy diaper on your your baby. You've seen those before. Like they go into the water and like pff, it soaks up all the water. This does not absorb liquid. That's the whole reason um, why it works in the water. So we made this mistake with Tyler, and I'm telling you so you don't do it. Um, do not leave your child in this pamper after they're done in the pool. We did that with Tyler, and he peed himself, and clearly does not absorb liquids, or didn't absorb it, and he was, pee was all over the place. So, just for the water. Um, another thing you're going to need, and you might not expect this, is on top of your disposable swim diaper, you also need a reusable swim pamper here. This one is from I Love Bub and we got it to match the swimsuit and what I really love about this is that if you notice, I know it's poked up, but you can see that there are little clips, little snaps, several rows of them. This is so that you can start out teeny tiny for your little baby and then as they get bigger you can continue to use the same pamper and just go out further. And make it bigger. It also has snaps up the back so you can shrink it down um, to your baby's size. Since Haley's four months old she's using the smallest size and then as she gets bigger we're gonna be it'll be growing with her which is nice. Um, you know less money spent on that. The last thing you're gonna need is a swim cap. This one is from Splashabout. And I will tell you, I looked far and wide to find a swim cap that would fit someone as small as Haley. Um, they're very hard to find for babies. I found this one on Amazon. Like I said, it's Splash About. Um, and it's for 0 to 18 months. It's a fabric swim cap. Not like those sticky, plasticky ones that you see um, all, most of the time. And what I like about this is it's a lot easier to put on your baby's head. Especially if they had hair. Haley had a lot of hair. And so um, we didn't want something that was going to be sticky and difficult to put on and make her fussy and upset. So this one's nice. It's fabric, so it's not going to catch and pull. Um, and it works very well. So just to run down the items that you are going to need again. A swimsuit for girls. A one-piece for boys. Trunks. You're going to need a disposable pamper or diaper. A reusable swim pamper. And lastly, a swim cap. You'll likely need a swim cap if you're the parent because you're going to be going in the pool too for someone that little and your own swimsuit. And usually they'll allow you to wear a t-shirt on top. And so, that's all you need. So, good luck with swim class.